under our baseline economic outlook, uh, we come up to uh, a number of almost 500 billion for the state and local governments through fis their fiscal year 2022. So over the next two years through June of 2022. And of course, uh, that's the baseline outlook. And that makes a number of key assumptions, one of which is that we get a fiscal rescue package that helps the states. Uh, because if we don't do that, the economic outlook would be even worse and the budget needs even greater. So uh, and in that paper, we lay out uh, our estimates state by state. So you can see you know, what the budget shortfalls are and we account for the rainy day funds. And, and I should say one other key assumption we make is that it's about 500 billion assuming all of the rainy day funds. And by the way, they were uh, very large and ample across nearly every state. Only three states did not have a rainy day fund of any size coming into this. Every other state had an ample rainy day fund. But assuming that all that rainy day money is used, it comes up to close to $500 billion. And you know, I think that's what we're coalescing around that number because that is the right number. That is, if you do the the, the arithmetic, the calculations, uh, that is the amount that's needed to fill that, uh, that budget hole. One final thing I'll say is there's a lot of uncertainty around all of this. And so if one were king for the day, uh, a prudent policymaker would err on the side of doing too much rather than too little. That's a key uh, uh, policy principle that if you have, if you're in a world of extreme uncertainty, and I think this qualifies, you want to go big, uh, you don't want to go too small.